The Legend of the White Snake, a timeless tale of love and magic long ago. In the ancient city of Hangzhou, nestled by the shimmering waters of West Lake, a story of love, magic, and destiny began to unfold. This is the tale of the White Snake, a legend that has captivated the hearts of people for centuries. Today, let me take you on a journey through time and imagination as we dive into the enchanting world of the legend of the White Snake. Our story begins over a thousand years ago. In the depths of a serene mountain, a white snake spirit named Bai Sujin had been cultivating her powers for centuries. Through years of dedicated practice, Bai Sujin had not only attained immense magical abilities, but had also developed a deep longing to experience the world of humans. Unlike other spirits, Bai Sujin was kind-hearted and benevolent. She yearned to leave behind her solitary existence and explore the human world, hoping to find true love and experience life beyond the confines of her spiritual realm. One day, Bai Sujin decided to transform into a human and descended into the bustling city of Hangzhou. With her was her loyal companion, Zhao King, green snake spirit who had only cultivated for 500 years. Together, they roamed the beautiful city, marveling at the sights, sounds, and vibrant life around them. It was on a misty spring day, as the rain gently kissed the surface of West Lake, that Bai Sujen's destiny took a fateful turn. As she and Zhao King strolled along the lakeside, the sky suddenly darkened, and rain began to pour. The two hurried to find shelter in a pavilion by the lake. Just then, a young scholar named Zhu Shan passed by. Zhu Shan was gentle, kind-hearted, and possessed an air of quiet intelligence. Seeing the two women taking refuge from the rain, he kindly offered them his umbrella. As their eyes met, something magical happened. Bai Sujin felt a strange warmth in her heart, as if she had known Zhu Shan for lifetimes. There was an undeniable connection between them, one that transcended the boundaries of time and existence. To express her gratitude, Bai Sujin offered to return the umbrella to Zhu Shan at a later date, giving her an excuse to see him again. A few days later, Bai Sujin and Zhao King visited Zhu Xin's home to return the umbrella. Zhu Shan welcomed them warmly, and as they conversed, both Bai Sujin and Zhu Shan felt an instant bond, as if fate had brought them together. They soon fell deeply in love, and before long, they were married beginning a life of happiness and harmony. However, their blissful life did not go unnoticed. A Buddhist monk named Fa Hai, who resided at the Jinshan Temple, sensed something unusual about Bai Sujin. Fa Hai was a powerful monk with the ability to see through illusions, and he quickly realized that Bai Sujin was, in fact, a snake spirit. Believing that the union between a human and a spirit was against the natural order, Fa Hai became determined to break them apart, convinced that their love would bring misfortune. Fa Hai devised a plan to reveal Bai Sujin's true identity. He approached Zhu Shan and convinced him to give his wife a cup of Zhonghuang wine Rialgar wine on the upcoming Dragon Boat Festival. According to legend, Rialgar wine has the power to weaken spirits and expose their true forms. Zhu Shan, unaware of his wife's true nature, followed Fa Hai's advice hoping to protect her from any harm. On the day of the festival, Zhu Shan lovingly handed Bai Sujin a cup of Rielgar wine, urging her to drink it for her safety. Bai Sujin hesitated, knowing the wine's effects, but not wanting to raise suspicion, she reluctantly took a sip. Almost immediately, she felt her powers wane, and before she could stop it, she transformed back into her true form, a giant white snake. The sight of his beloved wife turning into a snake was too much for Zhu Shan to bear, and he fainted from the shock. When Zhu Shan awoke, he found himself filled with fear and confusion. Fa Hai took advantage of the situation and convinced Zhu Shan that his wife was a dangerous creature who must be kept away from him. The monk whisked Zhu Shan away to Jinshan Temple, where he imprisoned him, separating the two lovers. Bai Sujin, devastated by the loss of her husband and the betrayal of Fa Hai, decided that she would stop at nothing to rescue Zhu Shan. Despite being weakened by the Rialgar wine, she gathered her remaining strength and, with Zhao King by her side, set off to Jinshan Temple. When Bai Sujin and Zhao King arrived at Jinshan Temple, 
Fa Hai refused to release Zhu Shan, desperate and with no other options. Bai Sujin revealed her true form once more, and called upon the forces of nature to help her. She unleashed a powerful flood that surged through the temple, causing chaos and destruction. The water rose higher and higher, threatening to engulf the entire temple. But Bai Sujin's power was not what it once was, as she was weakened by the pregnancy of her unborn child. Despite her efforts, she could not defeat the powerful Fa Hai. Seizing the opportunity, Fa Hai used his magic to trap Bai Sujin beneath the Li Feng Pagoda, a towering structure that would become both her prison and her symbol of eternal love and suffering. There, she was sealed away, separated from Zhu Shan, who was left heartbroken and alone. Zhu Shan, realizing the truth too late, was consumed by grief. He visited Li Feng Pagoda every day, praying for Bai Sujen's release, hoping that they could be reunited. He never gave up, even as the years passed, and their son grew up without his mother. Time moved on, and the legend of the white snake and her love for Zhu Shan spread far and wide. People began to visit Li Feng Pagoda, not out of fear, but out of admiration for the love that could not be broken by time, distance, or even death. Finally, after many years of devotion and prayer, Zhu Xin's unwavering love touched the heavens. The gods, moved by the strength of his love and by Su Zhen's sacrifice, decided to show mercy. The Li Feng Pagoda, worn down by the passage of time, eventually crumbled, releasing Bai Sujin from her imprisonment. She was finally free to reunite with Zhu Shan. Their reunion was one of both joy and sorrow, as they had endured so much to be together. But their love had triumphed over all obstacles, proving that true love can transcend even the most insurmountable barriers. Today, the story of the White Snake is still told across China, a tale of love, sacrifice, and the enduring power of the human and spirit heart. West Lake remains a popular destination, where people come to remember Bai Sujin and Zhu Shan, and the Li Feng Pagoda stands as a symbol of their undying love. When the wind whispers across the lake and the sun sets in a blaze of colors, it is said that you can still feel the presence of the white snake and her beloved Zhu Shan, their spirits forever entwined in the beauty of the world they once knew. The legend of the white snake is more than just a tale of romance. It is a story of courage, sacrifice, and the unbreakable bond between two souls. Bai Sujin and Zhu Xin's love reminds us that true love is fearless, unyielding, and can overcome any obstacle, even when faced with the greatest challenges.